So many believers think that um, it is by what you wear or by wearing Mary Amaka or by putting putting her tie that will make you think that you're reborn again. That is not the way it is. <laughs> everyone welcome back to my channel god bless you for sticking and for coming in i so much appreciate you thank you my subscribers and please if it is your first time seeing this video just give me a thumbs up and press the red bell button okay so that each time i upload you'll be able to be notified but guys i appreciate you guys for always being here God bless you all. My name is Patricia. So guys, let's get into the topic of the grateful day. to God for the privilege of his blood. We have been bought again by the blood of Jesus. What a wonderful thing. I'm so happy that I'm alive today. And so you that's watching this video, I know that God has been good to you as well. So guys, I want to speak about something. There's a... Uh, a misconception of of a particular thing that uh, many people see themselves as believers or as born again but when you look at their life there's nothing born again in their lives sometimes you know christianity the way we understand it to be see christianity or born again as when you dress when you wear hair tie you know tie your head and you wear, you don't wear trousers, yeah, and uh, you stop, you don't wear jewelry, you don't wear any of all these things. That's what makes you a born again. But that is a total misconception and a misunderstanding of what God was telling us about. That is just totally out of it all. When it comes to dressing, dress in a modest way. And if you say you're upon a again, you should know how to dress. You don't need to allow anyone to tell you how to dress. You yourself, your conscience, I believe everyone has conscience, whether a good one or bad one, but every human being has conscience. So your conscience will tell you that what you're wearing is good, what you're wearing is not good. So when you wear what is not good, your, your inner man, will tell you that what you are wearing is not good so upon again so that is it you don't you don't need anyone to tell you how to dress because once you are born again the holy spirit breaks you break you to become what he wants you to be you will not you will not want to live a life of your own you want to live a life that magnifies the holy spirit you want to live a life that represents your christianity or your new life you know being born again is not just the way we see it being born again entails a lot of things it entails a lot of things it's not just your your mode of dressing those things are the physical aspect of it but there are some spiritual aspect of being born again that i want to talk about because even without being born again you as well as a human being and has a conscience you will not see something, see something that is evil, then you call it um, good. Not no. again. It is not that when you stop putting on hair, or when you stop putting on jewelry or makeups, that is not born again. The Bible says that by their fr fruit we shall know them. What is it talking about? It's not the physical fruit that you and I eat. That's not what the Bible meant. What the Bible meant is your character. There are, there are many of us today who claim to be born again, but our character, those that are not born again, are even more better than us that claim to be born again. Sometimes our character speaks of us. Not even sometimes, all the times, our character speaks of us, speaks of who we are, tells of what we are. You know, this, uh, who knows the heart of men? Nobody knows the heart of men. But your character is what people know, it's what people get to see. As a born again, your character, for instance, you claim that you are born again. When a man is born again, it means that he has left all those negative lifestyles he or she used to live and has taken a new person, 
has won a new man, has become a new person, has been transformed. You don't longer live your former life. You now live a life different from your former life. What am I saying? For instance, a prostitute who got born again will not prostitute again. That's old thing. Begin to live a life of new man. That's one part of born again. But what about those that, that claim to be born again, that still tie their heads, tie it to the ears? They don't wear all these things that I'm wearing now. They don't. Yeah, they're yeah, born again. Yes. They don't wear all these things. But their heart is so darker than pot. It is. Charcoal pot. It is pot. Hey, it is a pot. Their yeah. heart is worse than a mask. A black mask. Yes. You say that you are born again, but when you see something evil happening to somebody, you will cover it. You hate it when people progress more than you. That is true. People's talent purges you, purge you, as in poo poo. People's progress purge you. It gets you upset. It gets you mad. That is another part of it. You take what is not your own by force or by corny corny. You take it to pocket it. You are not born again. You will condemn somebody. Condemn the person from A to Z. You say you are born again. Those things you say that you don't used to do before. That you are born again no? when you are still in the world. You are still doing them. Then why do you call yourself a born again for me ask? If you still gossip around, gossip people around, you're not a born again. You're going to church. All the whole Sundays in, in, in a year, you go to church, does not make you a born again or to see Jesus. No matter how you pray and you speak in um, too many tongues, you cannot. So, born again, it's you, it's you living those small, small things. Gossiping around, talking, talking around. Or somebody will offend, will offend you. You cannot forgive the person. Hey, Jehovah Nisi. You say you're upon again. My name. You lie. I say Ketro. Me, I'm not perfect too. That's why I pray every day that God, please show me a way that I can be perfect. Show me those things that I need to do to get them right. Please show me. I want to get it right. Being born again is not you not putting ear rig. It's not you not putting makeup. It's not you not making hair. Or it's not you not wearing trousers. That is not born again. Being born again is when you forsake those negative lifestyles that you have lived, that you have lived, that does not please God. When you're in the world, it's when a mouth that will never see something and close mouth. A man that will never see anyone progressing and be happy about the person. A man that will never see someone that has talent and appreciate them. Mind that will never see people looking, looking good and so, oh, sis, or oh, bro, you look beautiful or you look handsome, you look good today. Is there anything wrong in saying those things? But in your heart, you are even jealous about the person. Why would she look more better than me? Why would he look better than me? You will be, uh, you will like, you are supposed to be more than what the person is. Why? Who told you that? That you are born again? You are not. You are not. If you are the type that uh, hate people that's in the church, this age mate, they are my age group, so therefore I will make them my friends. Then this other group, I cannot uh, associate with them. They are small for me. They are not my, my age mate. My sister, my brother, you lie. You are not yet born again. Yes. What makes you a born again is what, what are the kind of fruits people are seeing you? Are you the type that when you pass, they will say, look at that girl, gossiper? Even if you prophesy, even if you do a manner of thing, but you have this small, small things in you, you are not, you are not. In this age we are into now, what you should be praying more is for God to help you, God to rebuild you, God should prepare you to meet him because the end has come. We are, we are in the end now. You know, you will say that we are hearing that, but don't, don't be deceived. Take it serious now. The end has come now. All you have to do now is, if you are not yet born again, just pray and say, God, please come into my life. I am sorry for every negative lifestyle that I've lived before. Come into my life. Wash me, purify me. Even in this season of his blood, let that blood purify you. That is what we are into. Not that you will claim that you are born again, but all these negative lifestyles, you, you, you like cheating. You like cheating people a lot. 
Look at now in Nigeria today now because of the lockdown and everything, people are increasing the prices of their goods. That is so bad. That is that is wickedness. These are the things that bring people down. In our broad year that we are, and during time like this, they try to make food low. They bring they bring down the prices in order to help the poor masses. But we black, as our hearts are black, so also we will we, we do all manners of evil things. If you are the type that you are doing all these things, you are not born again, no. Yes. But if you are the type that people are always talking about you, talking about you negatively, check your life. Check it and balance it and know how it is. Don't think that when you, when you stop wearing trousers or stop making hair or stop putting makeups or jewelry, that will make you a born again. Or when you go to church from year to year, it did not miss any Sunday in a year. You think that you are born again. That is zero. That is zero. If you are born again, let it be seen in you. Let meekness be seen in you. Let love be seen in you. Let unity, let, let peace be seen in you. People come around you, they will, they will smell the presence of God within you. When you are born again, you don't hate anybody. Don't hate. Bible say, oh no man, nothing, but love everyone. You love everybody. It's not like you make everyone your friend, but you have to love everybody. Love people equally. In as much as we have best friends, it's a different thing entirely. But in the, in the house of God, you will see cliques, you will see group, people hating other people, no, the other people, gossiping other people. Time of lockdown, let it be the time that we all will stay at home. Examine ourselves, think about your life. Malice, malice is very bad. Malice, very bad. You can't claim to know Jesus and you keep malice. Because someone offended you, you will say never. A child of God will never use the word never. You can only live, use never for the devil. I will never worship the devil. I will never pan out to the devil. But a fellow human being that God made you and him or her together, you can never use the word never. Do you create the person? Do you own your life? You say never. What if God meets you in the dream of the night and tell you that, oh, Rosaline, oh, Francis, oh, John Boo, you and this person, I want to see two of you tomorrow in my office. So you will not, you will not, you will not go because of a, uh, you never. Try. Being born again, you will sacrifice a lot of things. Born again, it's not just by mouth, it's by action. Those things you know that you, be, you do before you met Jesus, supposed to stop them. You will not still continue living in those things and claim to know Jesus. That is not possible. You will not say that when I was in the world, uh, uh, when I was in the world, but know that you are in Christ. You claim to be in Christ. Guys, don't be deceived, all right? Don't be deceived. Study your Bible. When you study your Bible, you'll be able to know the truth. You don't even need anyone to explain to you anymore. The Bible will explain itself to you. Yes, the Bible will explain to you. You will know the, the kind of lifestyle a new person has to be living or the kind of lifestyle that is befitting born again and not one that proclaims it in the mouth or by wearing all, all sorts of things, covering all sorts of things that will make you think that you are born again. That is not it. Being born again, it, it tells so many things. I pray that this video will touch somebody. If you can leave all this small, small thing, leave them say, they say, they not say, leave gossip, leave hatred, leave malice. So why not think, calculate in your mind, who have I been keeping malice with? Who have I offended that I claim right over it? Or even if they offend you, why not just carry your phone and call the person? Let life go ahead, no matter who offend each other. Because on, on the last day, Jesus will not ask you who offend each other. He will not ask you. He will ask you, why did you keep malice with that person? Why not take your phone now? Test that person. Try to know how he or she is doing. Even as in use this lockdown season as an excuse, as a medium for you to reach out to that person. I believe God will surely bless you if you do that. So thank you guys for watching this video. And please take action. Let us not just be hear us of the word but take action and i pray god will bless us as we do so in the name of jesus amen thank you for watching 
please don't forget to give me, give me a thumbs up please guys give me thumbs up give me thumbs up and subscribe for your girl all right till i see you next time stay blessed stay safe and keep on loving keep being good and i'll see you next time all right ciao ciao